My hair is beautiful. My skin is beautiful. And no one can tell me I'm not. No one can tell me I'm not beautiful. My hair is beautiful. My skin is beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, you guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Welcome to the Mental House, the sports edition. Um, This news flash, y'all, from CNN World is a little bit upsetting. Um, and I'm a little worried um, because uh, Britney just may not never come back to America. That That's the way it looks, y'all. Um, you know, they're going to use her for an example. I feel bad for her, her family, friends. Uh, um, let me share this article with you. It says, um, it's not even clear exactly when U.S. basketball Star Brittany Griner was even arrested in Russia on drug charges. But the family and friends are demanding the two-time Olympic champions release. Hundreds of strangers have joined the effort as U.S.-Russian tensions escalate amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Griner, who is 31, is a championship-winning basketball player with the WNBA's Phoenix Mercury and spends her offseason playing for the Russian team U-M-M-C, Ekaterinburg. See, and that's the sad part, is that they play ball and don't make enough money that they got to go to these foreign countries after the season is over to make some paper, for real paper, though. And it's still not even a drop in a bucket compared to what the men make. You know what I'm saying? And so now, Russian Federal Customs Service said an American at Sheffield Levingo Airport was carrying hash oil. Russia's Interfax News Agency quoted a statement from Customs Service, which it did not identify. It did not identify the traveler by name. As a U.S. citizen was passing through the Green Channel at Sherikamukvo Airport, upon arriving from New York, a working dog from the Sheravenko Customs K-9 Department detected the possible presence of narcotic substances, narcotic, and accompanying luggage. Y'all need to quit that bullshit, first of all. Some damn oil is a narcotic, and you sit up here and got people smoking ice, crack, freaking shooting up heroin, smoking crystal meth. Y'all own some real, real gangster shit in this country, huh? Excuse my language, but I'm really pissed off, okay? The custom inspection of the hand luggage being uh, carried by the U.S. citizen, Brittany Griner, confirmed the presence of vapes with specifically sm smelling liquid. And an expert determined that the liquid was cannabis oil, hash oil, which is a narcotic substance. They're going to hang her ass. A Russian team. They're, not, they're gonna hang her ass. That's just that simple. And um, ain't nothing good about it. Nothing. See, sad part about this is they want you to be on drugs that the doctors gave you. They want you to be on all them goddamn drugs that do all kinds of shit like kill your liver, kill your kidneys, uh, make your teeth swell, you know, all kinds of shit. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm being, um, you know, I had to get my uh, partial fix, right? And uh, what's happening is the, 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 the medicine that I take makes my gum swell. What type of shit is this? Now, those are drugs. See, 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 these people are so damn diabolical um, that it ain't it ain't funny. And it's, it's the European all over the world. Oh, you got some Africans too, Don. I ain't gonna leave them out. But what I'm saying is 
this this is so diabolical. So now y'all going to, I know you're going to frame her as a drug dealer. So y'all might say I'm overreacting and I'm overstretching. I like to hear your comments, you know, but the custom agency said that the arrest happened in February, but the exact date was not given. Ain't no telling when her, how long this, when this happened. The New York Times was first to report of Griner's arrest. Her whereabouts since her arrest also remain uncertain. They don't even know where she at. You, it ain't hard. You can't hard her big ass. She tall and big. Where's she at? No. Nobody even seen her since the arrest. Grind's ordeal comes as the Russian invasion of Ukraine is in the second week. President Vladimir Putin issued a series of threats Saturday against Ukraine and all the other Western powers, saying that the sanctions introduced on his countries are equivalent to a declaration of war. As a member of the U.S. House Armed Services, it's going to be very difficult to get Gritney, get Griner out of Russia. This is a member of the U.S. House Armed Services Committee said it's going to be very difficult to get Griner out. Our diplomatic relationship with Russia are non-existent at the moment. Oh, man. And perhaps during the Various negotiations that may take place, she might be able to be one of the, uh, one of the solutions. I don't know, man. I'm trying to tell y'all this is not good. I would be scared if I was Brittany, and I don't care about none of y'all talking about. You should have been stupid enough to. Um, I'm just gonna tell y'all something. If things has really changed, I used to fly. We go out of the country, go to Jamaica, go to, you know, the Bahamas. Where would we go? You know, we'd roll our spiffs up. We'd stick them inside cigarette packs or whatever. Sometimes we'd even empty out the cigarette packs and at least have 20 sticks up in there. Okay. And we fly all day and all night. Those days is over. It's really kind of sad for, um, the times that we live in it. And it's really sad because I don't even know. I never even thought about it. So young people do silly things. I know. Would I try that shit today? Oh, no, 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 no. I would just hope that I could meet or I would know somebody that wherever I was going, that was doing this, one of my tour guides or somebody was doing something. Because there's no way in the world this is this is gonna be work out good for Britney. I, I'm so afraid. She's got more than a thousand people who have signed a secure Britney's minor swift and safe return to the US. Uh and there's a, a petition at change.org. It also noted that Russia has some very, very strict LGBT rules and laws, though it's not clear whether those rules and laws might impact her case. Listen, they don't mind you being gay and playing basketball for them and winning championships. But now that you done got in trouble, all that shit is going to come out. All that stuff is going to come to play, and it's going to have you in a carrier situation. And again, my heart and my prayers go out to Brittany Griner, and I hope, I hope, uh, you know, she gets up out of this. This reminds me, and if y'all haven't seen it, some of y'all young people, go back and look at the movie called Midnight Express. The guy was from Milwaukee, Madison, actually, I believe. It's a story that really hits home for us here. Because we knew a guy that left here. And he went to Turkey, I believe. And he tried to come back with some hash oil. Same thing, hash. No, he had hash strapped around his belly and back and everything. And they got him. They, they caught him at the airport. 
and what they sent him through. Oh, God. It was just insane. And what they sent him through was insane. Um... They said, Griner is a beloved citizen who has used her platform since her entry to the WNBA to help others. Spiral woke. Um, Griner was in Russia to work, playing for the UMMC at Etterenberg, where in 2021 she helped her team win its fifth Euro uh, League Women's Championship. Spruill explained why many female professional athletes in the U.S. work overseas like many athletes competing in the WNBA. Griner plays abroad during the WNBA offseason because her salary is expeditiously higher in other countries. For NBA players, that means playing abroad. WNBA players, I'm sorry. While NBA rookies who haven't played a professional game yet are handed salary many times higher than what that of a winning title all-star designated WNBA veterans could ever hope for, Patricia said. That's a damn shame. I mean, you know, it's it's racism everywhere. If it's not men against women, it's black against white. It's what this is the division that only a devil could create. Just everybody is divided. And you ain't gonna tell me that's human nature. You ain't going to tell me that's human nature. It's humans that create the divisions. These realities are not the fault of the players. They simply want to be paid at worth like the male, their male counterparts. And they do not deserve to be entangled in a geographical turmoil for doing so. Griner's wife, Sherelle Griner, described the agony of waiting, of waiting on Instagram I'm hurting. We're hurting. We await the day to love on you as a family. Wow. This is not good. She has it's a very uncertain future, you guys, about what's going to happen with Brittany. And, you know, again, it's very sad that a damn rookie who ain't played a game is up there and be giving more money to Diana Taurasi. And I know y'all say the women game is y'all say the women game is boring, right? You know, the women game is just the man it, it is the man's game and to each his own. I think it's more um a sexist than anything. Uh, most men don't just want to see women playing ball unless they're really open-minded. That's the whole problem. You know, a women's basketball is very good. They play fun. They fundamentally sound. The men ain't. So by them being women and they don't have the upper body strength uh, uh, to slam and jump and old pogo sticks and, and all that, they have become excellent uh, uh, um, um, examples of the game and what it should look like in terms of crisp passing, in terms of playing below the rim. And now what you're saying, you can't appreciate that? Or is it the fact that you can't appreciate it because women do it? You know, I, 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 I my heart and prayers go out to uh, Brittany and her family. And let's just pray for a speedy return because um, she's still an American citizen at the end of the day. And she's still a human being at the end of the day. And nobody want to be stuck in no foreign damn country, especially no damn Russia. What a nut. Him and Donald Trump. Like what and what. Anyway, let me get off of here if I get in trouble. I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave your comments below. Tell me what y'all think. Y'all think she should stay over there? You think like some people she shouldn't have been stupid enough to do that? Young people do a lot of dumb things. Now, if I could have my 21 or 31 year old self back, you know, there's a lot of things I wouldn't do at being 60. I mean, come on. Actually, y'all, just pray for Brittany.